Welcome back to the LG Corner with me, Dr. West Bishop. We have a very exciting episode today. What we're going to cover is a simple water test you can do with just a clear jar, hence the name jar test. So why would we even want to do a jar test? Well, let's say historically your water's been really clear. You can see your fish swimming around. When you go swimming, you can see your toes at the bottom of the water body. But through time, maybe that visibility has decreased. There's more turbidity or algae or just something causing you not to be able to see as clearly as you once did in that water. So the purpose of this jar test is to give us a diagnostic investigation of what may be causing the negative water quality and clarity issues in your water resource. So let's get started. Get any type of clear glass or plastic jar and simply walk down to your water body, your pond or lake, to take a sample. Now what we're going to do is take a representative sample from the pond or lake system of the water that's causing the issue. And all you do here is simply uh, put the cap back on and let it sit on a flat surface like a patio overnight for about 24 hours. So after you let that jar sit, we want to come back, take a look at it, and we're going to go through a few different scenarios on what that jar may look like and what that means in terms of being the culprit to your water clarity issues. Now first of all, if that jar is all greenish and brownish throughout, pretty uniform through that water column, we're likely dealing with a planktonic algae issue. This could be green algae or diatoms or likely a mix of a bunch of different types of planktonic algae. If that's the case, we likely need to get you on an algicide treatment program and then follow up with a water quality improvement program to keep that algae from growing right back. Now if you look at that jar and it's real dark, sort of dark chocolatey, um, it could very well be dissolved humic or fulvic acids. Now tannins can, can contain these, these leach out of oak leaves or it could be coming from uh, peat moss or other organic matter. Now let's say another scenario, you come back and look at that jar and you have this scum sitting on the top. You may have a little bit uh, that fell out to the bottom, but you have a surface scum sitting on the top of this jar. This is likely a scum forming cyanobacteria issue that you're having. Now be careful, these guys are potential toxin producers, so don't, uh, don't touch it without gloves and uh, don't breathe it in. But you want to also look into an algicide treatment program to control that cyanobacteria as quick as you can, keep it down, keep it safe for your kids and pets out there, but also get on that water quality improvement program, take out nutrients, change the system so it doesn't just grow right back. Now another scenario, if your jar looks like this and everything's fallen to the bottom, sort of this fluffy, sort of darker brown layer, it's likely organic matter that we're dealing with. Now this could be stirred up from the bottom of the pond in a lot of different ways. It could just be wind blown and stirring up, or lots of times fish and other wildlife could stir it up from the bottom if they're searching for food, or if they're creating spawning grounds, or just swimming around down there can cause some of this more fluffy type organic matter to stir up. Now. If, if you look and everything's settled to the bottom and it's more of a lighter, sort of whitish in color, it's likely sand or silt that could be the culprit of those clarity issues. If it's a more darkish, reddish brown in color, even gray in color, it could be clay that was suspended in the water column causing the clarity issues. And what you want to do with that is look around the pond, look for any potential uh, sources of it coming into the pond, getting washed into the pond, and look at maybe erosion control strategies if those sediments are the culprit of your water quality or clarity concerns. Now, in summary here, if you want to get more specific on exactly what's causing the issue uh, in terms of your water clarity in your pond or lake system, please feel free to reach out to us. You know, we can send us a picture, you can text us, get a hold of your local CPRO aquatic specialist, but you can also send in a sea script. Send us a sample, we can get a lot more precise algae identification or just identify the culprit to those negative water clarity issues in that sample. So again, thank you for your time today. Please reach out and contact us if you have any questions.